Pizza 1901 in Apopka. They make the greatest, really good New York style Italian pizza. And I'm here with Sushi, and she's doing her under. She's under the chair, like a good girl. We finished the doctor's appointment. And, um, sorry, I keep dropping the phone. We finished the doctor's appointment, and so she did really good at the doctor's office. A little antsy at the end, because it took kind of long for her, and she got bored in that one room. It's new. It was her first doctor appointment of mine that she trained for. So my doctor's um, familiar with that kind of um, on the field training. And he was telling me about another uh, patient of his that has a monkey. And he thought it was a little child because it had a little hat and it was dressed up like a person and it was her service animal that would be really cool to have a monkey versus a dog but I'm not um, experienced with that and I don't know where to um, start with that kind of training and stuff like that but I'm thinking it would be a lot easier with a monkey in for some things like a monkey can open a bottle of water Sushi only can get me a bottle of water. Sushi can um, bring me a medicine bag, but a monkey can bring you a bottle, you know, like one medicine or one item or something. You know what I mean? With a monkey, as a service animal, it would be a, a lot more easier. So, but anyways, uh, this has been working for me. <laughs> So I, I love that my doctor shared that with me because, you know, um, I don't think I've heard about a monkey service animal. So. Okay, so I'm going to move over because I think I'm kind of too close. So. Okay. Toodles, toodles, poodles. Sorry about dropping the phone over and over. Mm-hmm.